Three like-minded leaders forging closer ties as they see growing threats common to them all. US President Joe Biden wants to build on the marked improvement in relations between Japan and South Korea. Since coming to office, Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida and his South Korean counterpart Yoon Suk-yeol have set a course to overcome traditional differences. So the bar is set low, really, to improve relations, and I think Washington wants to sort of institutionalize trilateral cooperation and wants a joint statement uh, in which the two countries commit themselves to enhance uh, security cooperation. All three countries have been brought closer by the threat of North Korea's continued weapons development. <laughs> In order to fundamentally block North Korea's nuclear and missile threats, the Republic of Korea, the United States and Japan must closely cooperate on reconnaissance assets and share data in real time. The three have taken part in joint military drills and embarked on intelligence sharing, raising alarms in North Korea's only significant ally. China is watching this trilateral meeting intensely, suspecting the U.S. and its Northeast Asian allies of trying to restrain its growing power at a time when Beijing's friendship is being eagerly sought by Moscow as it looks for any support in its continuing war in Ukraine. This was Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu on a recent visit to North Korea, which is allegedly supplying Russia with munitions followed by the 70th anniversary celebration of the ending of the Korean War, also attended by a high-profile delegation from China. Of course, it also goes in the other direction. You know, the more that, that Beijing, Moscow and, and Pyongyang cooperate with each other, the more that Seoul, Washington and Tokyo are going to cooperate with each other as well. The shifting power blocks of the Asia-Pacific as neighbors seek security and advantage amid increasing insecurity. Rob McBride, Al Jazeera, Seoul.